at three months, he was doing backflips. Pectus excavatum, we most commonly refer to as sunken chest. It's a depression of the central portion of the chest wall that we can frequently notice at birth. However, most cases present to us in the teenage years where a linear growth spurt has suddenly caused an increase in the length of the ribs, pushing the sternum either inward or uh, turning the sternum on its side into the chest. Around one in 400 pediatric patients will develop chest wall changes that we would call pectus excavatum. Common symptoms of pectus excavatum include exercise intolerance, um, chest wall discomfort, rib pain, shortness of breath, symptoms of palpitations, also uh, the anxiety of the appearance of the chest wall itself. Christian showed up in our office um, a competitive cheerleader and gymnast and he had significant concerns not only about his cardiopulmonary fitness but also about the shape of his chest. He was constantly uncomfortable along the chest wall and we attribute that to costochondritis or inflammation of those nerves. Christian's two-week post-operative visit, he was already feeling great and anxious to get on with his activities. At three months, he was doing backflips, which was certainly safe, but gave me a little bit of anxiety. So if a patient has been diagnosed with pectus excavatum, or if they're uncomfortable with either the appearance or the symptoms related to the shape of their chest, we'd be happy to see them in the pediatric surgical clinic for an evaluation.